Hi, I'm Max Charbonneau. And I am Jackie Cotter. And we're uh, physically on Boylston Street, and we're going to ask people questions. Because that's what people do on late night shows, I think. Do you want to race right now? Right now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! That went terribly for me. How did it go for you? Uh, I think you pulled off. I think you didn't give your best. I think I, I didn't give my best. Excuse me. You're a redhead. Yeah. Do you, is it true that we have powers? No. Okay. No, like you can say your honest answer though. Um, no. Hey, you guys go to Emerson? Nope. Okay. She should. She should have a college education, and you know what? I know a great place for a college education. Where? Harvard University. Are you here to? Are you guys here to see Stomp? No. No, we're working. Oh, okay. I won't bother you. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved. Wait, you know, how fast? Let's play Human Frogger. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is to show how brave I am. Stomp! Like this! Uh, so you guys live in Elbie? I used to live right here, 745. That was my room. Now I'm in Piro, sad, doing all my homework alone, looking out at the wall, the brick wall I look at every day. That's all I do is look at a brick wall and I cry. I sit there. I just sit there. I sit there. I don't do anything. That's all I do. Don't look at them. Look at me. I love your hair. Oh my God. I heard Stomp was fantastic. I heard Stomp was really, really good. We've not ever been before, but I've heard it's really good, so we're excited. That's fantastic. She stomps around all over a condo all the time. She's stomping, stomping, stomping down the street, all over a condo, everywhere. I love stomping. Can you guys stomp right now? Oh, yeah. I, I feel I feel much safer talking to strangers than I do Everson people because because I feel like talking to an Everson person has consequences. And talking to a person I don't know, that does not. Ah. Okay, can I throw a ball at you and you hit it? We're making magic on the field today! Hey, camera three, camera two, camera one, Rocco, Jackie, oh. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Closing Time. Mmm, smells so good in here. My name is Max Charbonneau, and I am so excited to be your host for the season. That's right, I'm here for the whole season, so get used to it, baby! Now, so much has happened since we last aired, so let's dive right in. The pop group BTS gave a nearly seven minute speech promoting the coronavirus vaccine at the United Nations headquarters in New York. At least now we know that one army is getting vaccinated. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Komodo dragons are now officially an endangered species. And this is bad news for the Komodo dragons, but it's good news for anything with flesh that they want to keep. Dangerous creatures. Mm, I'm sure. Dangerous creatures. Uh, local hero Jeff Bezos has pledged $1 billion towards protecting 30% of the Earth's land and sea. Now Bezos celebrated the news by burning down a forest and strangling scores of endangered Komodo dragons. A new company has formed with a wild new mission to bring back the woolly mammoth. Their next mission, bringing back the Komodo dragon. <laughs> Rule of threes. Rule of threes. <laughs> Rule of three. I love Komodo dragons. The recent film adaptation of Dear Evan Hansen reveals the messy realities of teen mental health. It also reveals the messy realities of screen acting as a 28-year-old on the precipice of second puberty. I think I'm going through second puberty. Hmm, you look like it. Thank you. 
A fireball meteor caught on camera was seen soaring over North Carolina at 32,000 miles per hour. Oh no, not North Carolina. It's not like we don't have another backup Carolina a couple of miles south or anything. Am I right, Jackie? <laughs> we have two. We got two. We have two Carolinas. What are we worried about? <laughs> A snake was captured ripping open a living toad to feast on its organs. Wow, I didn't realize my ex-wife was dating a science journalist. Youch! Got her! Whew. My ex-wife, she, uh, she ripped open a, a living toad and feasted on its organs. There are 14 days left until Halloween. Uh, which means there are 14 plus one days until I get my hands on some sick new razor blades. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, mm -mm. You just eat those up, don't you? <laughs> you love them. Larger than a football field and growing, a sinkhole in Mexico has now swallowed one house and two dogs. Said nerds everywhere, uh, you lost me at football. <laughs> Cause they hate sports. <laughs> nerds hate sports. <laughs> Actor William Shatner has said that he would like to try on a cloak of invisibility. And with a face like that, I don't blame him! Ah, oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I, I literally don't know who that is. You know, he's already wearing one in my eyes. He was in, he was in Star Trek. Are you a big Star Trek fan? No. A Russian actor and director will launch with a cosmonaut to film the first movie ever made in space. But, uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen a movie in space before. Are <laughs> hey, you a big Star Wars fan? No. Here are some ways to apologize without saying sorry. You must literally be crazy. That literally didn't happen. Maybe that's what happened in your head, but that literally is not how it happened at all. Gaslighting is what that is called. Learn to that. I heard one. Now, Prince Charles has said that he's planning on downsizing Buckingham Palace once he becomes king. Uh, how about downsizing those ears first, you freak? A new report describes that abdominal fuzz makes bee bodies super slippery. Mmm, slippery and wet makes mommy upset. You laughed too hard at that one, mm. Jackie. Something you laughed for the, the wrong way you reason. did it. The wrong reason. Donald Trump has asked the U.S. judge to force Twitter to restore his account, and then he said that the judge should delete Finsta. Is that a court thing? A new custom brain implant has lifted a woman's severe depression, and good for her. Finally, a 27-year-old daredevil recently performed a breathtaking stunt on the Eiffel Tower. In other news, this 20-year-old daredevil's performing for his life out here. It's my alter ego. Now, speaking of breathtaking, allow me to introduce my lovely co-host, Jackie Cotter. Oh, yeah. Jackie. Woohoo. Jackie. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. Stop, oh. it. stop it. Stop it. Now, Jackie, you were telling me before we started airing, you had uh, Fruit Loops for dinner tonight. I did have Fruit Loops for dinner. How were they? They were really good. Um, they're still in my teeth a little bit. Oh, there. <laughs> we can all see it. We can all see it. Okay. Them. You can't you can actually. Can you see them? A bit. But, okay. Well. They were yummy. <laughs> Did you, what kind of milk did you put in there? Uh, regular skim milk. Oh. It's like heavy water. <laughs> milk, but not that thick. You drink milk a lot? I love milk. Why do you think I'm so tall? Mm, big bones. Folks, we have a wonderful show lined up for you all tonight. Sports journalist Sam DeCoste is in the house, as well as the extraordinarily talented musical guest Max Davis. And it's all happening right now on Closing Time. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. No, you're funny, too. Yeah, you're pretty funny. I think that's pretty good. I know. Oh, I'm, not, I'm no professional or anything, but that's pretty good. <laughs> I hope they don't add music and it's just us talking. <laughs> I hope so. All right, come back in 10 seconds. Ready, camera one. Camera one, get a wide shot of the entire thing, and in three, two, one, take. Tell Q. Welcome back to Emerson College. Emerson Trails. Camera four, get a shot of the players coming across the court. 10 seconds left. Emerson Trails by one point. As camera two, close on the first two Thanks, Joe. With 10 seconds left.
I won't get as close to follow them over. Emerson Trail, WPI, 10 seconds left. Emerson Trail, 5 1 points. SDT finishes their time at the end. Emerson Trail, 5 1 points. SDT finishes their time at the end. Follow the ball, follow the ball. Hey, we're your, uh, your, your, your roomies, your homies, your new living yeah, best. We, we live here too. It's time. Four, seven. Oh. Seven? It would mean a lot to me if you guys watch. Watch where you're going, Sam, to loser. It's to cost. It has French origins. Oh yeah? Well, your ass has French origins. That doesn't even make sense. Where are you going? Hey. Hey. Oh. What, what are you doing? Get those back. I need those. Clearly didn't help you see how hideous that outfit is, uggo. Come on, I need those back. I think I have a nice outfit. Oh. Oh. That was on purpose. <sighs> Worst day ever. Back. I think I have a nice outfit. If only I were popular, that would show them. Oh, stupid email from the stupid presidential search committee. What now? Presidential search. Me? If I'm going to be president, this is going to need some work. We take this. And this. And, and give, give you, you a, a president. president. I'm the president. That's right, I'm the president. That's me, President Sam I am. Sam I am, I'm the president. President Sam I am. I'm also a poet, guys. I'm also mostly president. Hello, I am the president. What do you guys need? A pool. Done, what about you? A pool. Okay, who else wants a pool? Me, 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 I want an extra bad. Pool, 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 pool. Done. As your president, I will give you everything. Everyone gets their own pool. Free chlorine for all. Excuse me, what's going on here? Excuse me, I'm having a presidential meeting here. This is me doing my presidential duty. You're not the president. You're not allowed to give people pools. Whoa. That's not true. I got an email. Yeah. That email wasn't for you. That email was for this guy. <gasps> the suit, Sam. You look like President Bush. Which one? There were two. Whichever one was worse. Oh. <coughs> it was George W. <coughs> 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 Welcome back, everyone. Now, within the past few minutes, a lot of things have changed around here. As you can see, we are joined by host of the Box Score and multiple Evie Award winner, Sam DeCoste. Sam, how are you? I'm good, Max. It's good to see you. Thank you for letting me come on the show. Oh, we're, we're honored and thrilled to have you. The honor is mine, please. Oh, 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 oh stop it. The honor oh. is mine. Now, Sam, you know, you being here is not the only change we've had really? around here. That's right, What's because our me? very own Jackie Cotter, she's developed an urge, a need, a thirst for competitive sports adjacent activities, and we do not want to test her patience. Now, Sam, you are known, of course, uh, for your award-winning sports journalism and your love of competition. So, 
We're going to put that love to the test right now. We're playing a game called Beat Jackie. The goal of the game is to beat Jackie in a series of tricks and challenges while I ask you very personal questions. Now, Sam, are you feeling up to that challenge? Absolutely. Jackie? God, what a machine! All right, everybody mask up. We're going to get right into the game. The first uh, competition is going to be uh, uh, hula hooping. Sam, have you ever hula hooped before? Uh, not since like fifth grade. Well, buckle up, because Jackie's a pro. All right, if you want to step down on the floor, and away we go. Sam, what is your earliest memory? When I was 34 years old. Uh, who's your biggest inspiration in life? Uh, my mother. Uh, what kind of father do you want to be to your future children? Do I want to be a father? I don't even know that yet. All right, that's fair. Well, how many pets have you had in your life? I've never had any pets. That's, that's shocking. All right, drop the hula hoops. We're done. Next round, next round. We're doing a mental math test. Sam, you want to sit right here? Uh, we're going to do a mental math test. You're going to answer as many of these questions as you can. Go ahead. You can use that desk jacket. There you go. All righty, set. On your marks, get set, go. Sam, what is your worst fear? Uh, elevators. Okay, what's your greatest hope? Greatest health? Hope. 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 What do you want in life? Oh, well, in life, I want I want a lot of money. Oh, and that's, a happy life. That's fair. I, I respect that. Uh, would you rather run on the top of a bunch of needles or swallow one hot coal? Uh, swallowing. Okay. Uh, interesting. How old were you when you learned about the birds and the bees? Uh, I don't know if I learned about the birds and the bees. Yet. Oh, that, that's fair. Drop your test. Drop your test. Next round is cup pong. Sam, we're gonna be playing cup pong. Stand on one side of this. You're gonna be trying to get as many cups uh, ponged as possible. Uh, Alrighty, set. On your mark, get set, go! Sam, what's your favorite mode of transportation? Train. What are you waiting for? Let's go! What age did you lose your most recent baby tooth? Uh, blah, 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 like 11. Alright, why are the New England Patriots from New England? That's not a state. Uh, well, they're, they're from Foxborough, so you call it New England, I guess. That's fair. Do you like me? I love you. Do you like Jackie? I, I tolerate Jackie. That's great. All right, Pong's down, everybody. Everybody, Pong's down. Next, we're going to be playing a, uh, a game of hide and seek. So, Sam, you're going to hide. Jackie's going to seek. Uh, Jackie, close your eyes and count to 10. Ready, Sam? Go! One. Ja uh, Sam, which two, one of us would you rather have over three, for dinner? Four, Max. All right, if you could be adopted by a pack of animals, six, what kind of animal would you want to be raised seven, by? Pandas. Eight. That's fair. What do you think nine, that means about yourself? Ten. That Go get him, Jackie. I'm, Go get him, girl. It means that I'm cuddly, but I also, I'm fearsome. Terrible hiding spot, Sam. All right, back on the couch, back on the couch. We're going to be doing a round of sports trivia. All right, both of you are in this. It's sports trivia. Whoever gets it first wins. All right, on your mark, get set, go. How many teams are in the NFL? 32. That's right. Uh, how many games are in the MLB season? 12. Uh, a, 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 thousand, a thousand and twelve. You're wrong. Both of you wrong. Terrible. Who's the leading scorer in NBA history? Uh, Michael Jordan. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That's correct. Uh, how, what's the newest team in the NHL? Seattle Kraken. That's right. Last one. How many tennis grand slams does Serena Williams have? Twelve. Wrong. Twenty. Twenty-three. All right, folks. That's the end. <laughs> Whoa. I am perspiring more than I think I have in a long time. Is this what sports is like? Oh, it's even more thrilling than that. Wow. If you can imagine it. That and that was, that was an adrenaline rush. That was excellent. All right, well, well, well Sam, thank you so much. How do you think you did? Um, it's not my proudest moment, but you know, I, 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 I think I represented myself well. That's well excellent. Enough. Excellent to hear. Well, thank you so much for coming down and visiting us at our little home. Hope Thanks I can, a lot. Welcome back. This um, fun. Max, this is not our home. I sleep here, Jackie. Sam, if you ever need anything, you're, you're a great guy. You just give me a call if you need a place to stay or anything. Just give me a call. Thank you. Round two, bitch! Do it? Let's do it.
Max says, I don't want to die of beaties. Get it? Like, diabetes. You know, like, type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes. <laughs> I don't get it. What's beaties? No, diabetes. Like, type 1 or type 2 diabetes. And that's the end? Yeah, that's the joke. <clears throat> oh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, thank you, John. That was, that was great. Yeah, well, we're going to move on. Uh, we got a lot of pitches to get through tonight, so Marty, why don't you go ahead? Okay, so basically, my sketch is called Frog on Ice. <laughs> <laughs> So, for the setup of the sketch, Ugh. I think... Uh, John, do you do you have a note, or...? Um, you know what, Jeremy? It's, it's nothing. It's all good. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, Marty, please go ahead. Right. So the main character is this frog named Bill. <laughs> <laughs> he has this friend. Ooh, it's getting kind of late. We could have a second frog that's, like, kind of... We could have a second frog... Uh, do we have time for this? I'm just wary about going over time. We're all good. I think it's fine. Yeah, actually, so you know what? It's all good. Okay. Right, so these two frogs, they live in this place called the lily pad. <laughs> <laughs> right, and the lily pad... Uh, is my sketch going to make it? What? Uh, my sketch, is it going to be in the episode? Uh, it is, right? Uh, we don't know, John. We still have to hear everyone else's. There's a few more people who haven't pitched yet. All right, and in the world of this sketch, these frogs, they're like... Oh, you guys probably didn't like it. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You guys probably didn't like my sketch, huh? You all probably hated it. Yeah, you're all mad at me, aren't you? You're pissed. Oh, you probably have a group chat where you talk about my stinky, trashy sketch pitches. John, your pitch was fine. We're not mad at you. Go ahead, Marty. So the lily pad is like this area, right? where it's this kind of shady motel Sit down, Marty. exclusively <laughs> run by frogs, except it's infested with flies, which is a Who really that, right? problem to you have did, for a frog motel. Okay, so one day the frogs are hey, what you typing? in this shady little frog motel typing something about me? Frog Christmas Eve, which as we all know falls yeah, let, me, uh, let me see that. Enough! John, please just let Marty pitch a sketch. Uh, okay. <laughs> So then the second frog is like jumping. Sit down, Marty. Oh and my god. Ignore him. John, are you listening to music? What the hell do you guys want from me? I mean, you ridicule my pitch, you call me names, you talk about me behind my back, you slap me around. You guys, you guys treat me so wrong. So wrong. Hey, John, we're really sorry. Yeah, you know, I actually thought your sketch was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. 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 yeah, you know what? Why don't you try to pitch your sketch again? Sit down, Marty. <clears throat> okay, so Max says, I don't want to die of beaties. <laughs> <laughs> And then I said, I don't care if you're driving for Uber or for Lyft. If it's my car, it ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> that is so Susie. Uh, I'm going to marry that girl. <laughs> so uh, uh, do you have any fun fall plans? Do anything exciting for spoopy season? Oh my god, Max, don't look now. But Tyler and Marty are here together. What? No way. Do you think it's like a date? Oh, it's got to be a date. I can see the sparks flying from here. Oh my god, Marty just pulled out Tyler's chair. Oh. Don't look! They'll notice us! Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> 
So, uh, anyways, uh, my... How far do you think they've gone? I'd pay to see them kiss. Hmm, Marty and Tyler. <laughs> uh, okay, Jackie, we can, um, we can move on. Oh my know. god. Marty just dropped fish into Tyler's bag. What? He just slipped a big wet slab of raw salmon into his bag. Well, how do you know it's salmon? Oh my god, now they're pouring broth. Broth? Uh, okay, I have to get a look. <laughs> Don't look now! They'll notice us! Dude, he's dumping bowls and bowls worth of broth into poor sweet Tyler's bag and he's got no clue! Uh, how does he not notice? He's doing it under the table and he's looking at Tyler all content and hasn't broken eye contact once. And he's smiling. Oh, yeah, he's he's smiling that sickly grin. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna be sick. Jackie, what? He's chopping carrots. Oh my fucking God. Without looking, he's chopping carrots. And the teeny tiny carrot bits are flying into the little itty bitty baby bag. Itty bitty? Like an infant. The chefs, they're, they're noticing. They're, Max, no way, they're, they're starting to take notes. Jackie, can I please look now? No, you mustn't! You'll only frighten them! How? Oh my god. One of them just crawled under the table. He's dipping his finger into the bag. He's tasting it. Well, does he like it? He likes it! He gave a thumbs up to the other chefs. Oh, poor, poor Doyne. Tyler has no clue what's going on. He's so into Marnie, he doesn't even notice the chefs guzzling down gulp after gulp of that piping hot, savory, succulent purse soup. Jackie, we have to get a taste! Do you mind? Some of us are trying to enjoy a first date over here. So it is a date! Jennifer, you cannot keep calling me at work. I'm, I, I'm, I'm work. Uh, welcome back, folks. I, I've missed you so much. Now, uh, Jackie and I have been preparing a special treat for you all. It's a genre-bending, sexually acrobatic interpretation of the entirety of La La Land. Oh, there's twists, there's turns, and physical stunts, the likes of which have never been seen before on late night television. Now, unfortunately, the producers have cut it for being uh, too raunchy and physically impossible. Michael. So we had to find the next best thing. Without further ado, our musical guest, Max Davis. Where your bliss is cut short.
never know people love before and you could let it go be on top of the Right, talk about a John Mayer type, am I right? <laughs> Ladies, Rocco! God, you freak! Well, that's it for tonight's show. Thank you all so much for coming along for the ride. You know, I've never felt so safe. It's like uh, I'm the baby, and all of you are my coddling, overbearing mommies. What? And you, you're the babysitter who who comes over and she puts Benadryl into my Cheerios. And then she invites over her, boy, her boyfriend to watch Bachelor in Paradise on my couch. No, Max, did this actually happen to you? Thank you so much to Sam DeCoste, Miles Davis. Max Davis. Max Davis, same thing. We've had so much fun tonight. And we will see you all next episode. I'm Max Charbonneau. And I'm Jackie Cotter. This has been Closing Time. Good night. Yeah. That's for the that's for the couch. That's for the couch. You Yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh yeah. You, who, who invited him? Who invited him? Who invited him? That's my question. I don't care. This place looks like a dump.